The US FDA has approved a potent non-opioid painkiller for the first time in 25 years. It's been 25 years since we've had a strong non-opioid painkiller approved by the FDA. And the product we're talking about is called Suzetrigine. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, otherwise known on the market as Joranavix. My goodness, these are hard to uh, pronounce, but it is promised to be a non-addictive painkiller that's just as effective for acute pain as a common opioid treatment. And I think the technology behind this is fascinating. So basically what it's looking at is it wants to selectively block sodium channels on pain sensing nerve cells, thus providing an opioid level suppression, but without the risks of addiction, sedation or overdose. And the reason that we're kind of going this way is because we have discovered that there are multiple subtypes of sodium channels that control pain. Older drugs would just block all of them all at once, kind of indiscriminately, which would lead to issues with your heart and brain and addiction, et cetera, et cetera. But we've been hunting for more selective subtypes of sodium channel uh, blockers since, since the 90s and by blocking only selective sodium channels and bypassing the ones that control the heart and the brain and other very important organs in the body, instead, it's like an opioid that targets only actually the uh, pain receptor cells instead of the whole body, which is what opioids currently do. So I think this is a huge breakthrough for pain relief in America and hopefully can put an end to our opioid crisis.